The other day, my cousin was talking to me about how he wants to get more involved with protecting the environment. If you are an environmentally conscious person, then you will know that renewable energy is a major concern. And so, of course, he was interested in exploring some renewable energy options. It is nearly impossible to discuss renewable energy without talking about Tesla. So naturally, company came up in our discussion. While we were debating about whether or not Tesla is the right way for him to go, another topic came up. As you probably know, Tesla has two options for renewable energy, which are the Tesla solar panels and the solar roof, which is also known as the solar shingles. We talked back and forth about the pros and cons of both options, especially the cost. Of course, I decided that I just had to make a video about that. So in today's video, I will be comparing the price of the Tesla solar roof to that of the Tesla solar panels. Let's dive right in. Before we go into the differences in the prices, let's talk a little bit about the differences between the solar roof and the solar panels. While both options are great sources of renewable energy, there are some differences between both that will ultimately shape your decision as to which one you'd rather go for. The major difference between the solar roof and the solar panels is that the solar panels are placed on your roof, but the solar shingles, which make up the solar roof, are actually your roof. The shingles of the solar roof make up your roof. Solar shingles are a newer invention and are more aesthetically pleasing. To the casual observer, they look just like a normal roof, and so you'd avoid any awkward-looking object on your roof. They are simply more pleasing to the eyes. Now that we've got the basic differences out of the way, let's talk about the prices. If we're being honest, the price is going to be the major determining factor for most people when it comes to choosing between the solar roof and the solar panels. Is there a significant difference between the prices? And exactly how much of a difference are we talking about? Let's see just what we're dealing with here. Let's start off by talking about the price of the solar roof. Unlike the solar panel that has a fixed price irrespective of roof size and complexity, the price of the solar roof varies based on the size of your roof and how complex your roof is. The Tesla website has three levels of roof complexity, which are simple, intermediate, and complex. The total price of the solar roof will depend on these factors. So, if you live in a large house with a multi-level roof and chimneys, then you can expect that you will pay much more than someone with a small house with a simple roof. On the other hand, the price of the solar panels will stay at the same rough estimate of about $25,900 regardless. This means that even if your roof is large and complex, you would still pay the same amount as someone with a small and simple roof. The price is always constant, and so you don't have to worry about calculating the price based on how large your house is. This table shows the estimated price for the solar roof based on the size of your roof. As you can see, there is a considerable difference in the prices. The larger your roof is, the more money you end up paying, unlike the solar panel where you have a solid price of $25,900, regardless of how big or small your roof is. Now, you may feel like you have all the information that you need, but there is still more information that you need. Like I said earlier, the solar shingles that make up the solar roof are basically your roof, so you have to put a bit more consideration into it when comparing the prices of both options. Now, there are two probable situations that you could probably find yourself in. The first situation is if you are planning to go solar and you don't need to replace your roof, your roof is perfectly fine, but you want to go solar. In that case, the price would still be the same. This table puts it in a much clearer perspective. Taking a look at the image, you can see at a glance the difference between the costs of the solar roofs and the panels if you aren't replacing your roof. If you don't already plan on getting a new roof for your house, then you can expect that you will pay a significantly higher amount of money. What's more, as you can see in the chart, the difference between the costs of the solar panels and the solar roof only increases as the size of the roof increases. And it goes up to as much as double the price 
for a 2,500 square foot roof. Now, let's consider the second situation that you could possibly find yourself in if you are interested in going solar and you need to replace your roof. This second scenario assumes that you are already planning to replace your roof, but you also want to go solar. This is a less common scenario than the first one, but it still happens. So which option do you consider in this scenario? Do you fix your roof and go for a solar panel afterward? Or do you go directly for the solar shingles and roof? Remember, you're making this decision based on the price of both. So let's take a look at that, shall we? Now, because you will be needing to fix your roof, we have to add in the price for a new roof to the price of the solar panels so that we can get a fair idea of what the total price is likely to be. Of course, you wouldn't need to fix a new roof if you were getting the solar roof because the shingles make up your roof. It's basically a two-in-one deal. So let's calculate how much the solar panels would cost you in this scenario. First off, let's assume that asphalt shingle roof replacement costs about $5 per square foot. Added to the $25,900 cost of installation, your expenses would look something along the lines of this. Going by this, the only time that the prices are close to being similar is when you have a roof of 1,500 square feet. So even if you have to replace your entire roof and then get a solar panel, you still wouldn't pay as much as you would if you were to get the solar roof. However, you should note that this is just a rough estimate of how much it would cost to install a new roof in your home as the actual price may be higher or lower depending on where you live. Of course, increased costs of installation will also translate to a higher total. And in this case, the price of the solar panel may become more similar to that of the solar roof. From what we have seen so far, it is safe to conclude that the solar panel will almost always be cheaper than the solar roof. So, if the price is your biggest determining factor, then you have your answer right in front of you. For some, however, you are a lover of aesthetics and you love the look that the solar roof gives to your house. If we're being honest, the solar panels do not have the same kind of aesthetic that the solar roof does, so they can often be an eyesore. In this case, if you would pick aesthetics over price, then the solar roof is the way to go for you. Of course, it's a bit more pricey, but if you have the money to spend, and you're willing to spend it, then the solar roof is the right choice for you. So there you have it. Everything that you need to know regarding the costs of the Tesla solar panel and the Tesla solar roof. Would you rather get the solar roof or the solar panels? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. Also hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you don't miss out on engaging content like this.